Welcome to the video, everybody. Um, what I'm going to be looking at is uh, all the levels I believe there are to kind of 3D grass in Lumion. So we're going to start off with just kind of an easy one. You know, we're going to bring this in, do 2D grass, um, but then we're going to move up to um, an add on that's typically for Blender called Graswald. Uh, but I have been playing around with it more and more lately. Um, and I do think that there is actually some great potential to use it in Lumion. Now, the only downside to this is that you can't. Um, you can't use the wind simulation. Um, so if that's really necessary for the shot, you can't use Graswald, but we'll still look at a couple other things that um, are pretty cool with the, how you bring grass into Lumion or uh, texture it. So I'm just gonna take this, and I'm just gonna save it to my desktop. Grass, okay, so I'm gonna start the live sync here and we're good to go. Uh, I'm just gonna drag this up a little bit. All right, so the very first one, now obviously this is, kind of the most basic um, a lot of people would know about this um, but i did have some use for it uh, not that long ago because i find that if you have extremely short grass like uh, in my golf course tutorial then it's not actually worth it to use the 3d grass it's better just to use a texture so if we look at this here we have the 2d grass uh, and there's some you know there's some decent options here like it depends on what you need so um yeah this one's kind of the, the easiest level this is the best for um this is the best for performance, I think. But um, yeah, so that's pretty cool. Uh, the other thing um, that we can look at next will be the uh, terrain grass. So what you can do is you can just come into new, you can make this a landscape. So as you can see, it's matching this. Um, and if this normally when I'm doing this kind of uh, this kind of scene, what I normally do is take my SketchUp scene, raise it up a bit, and then put 3D grass on it. It's very rare that I do use this, um, but for massive scenes uh, where 3D grass, there's just too much of it, then the landscape grass works. So what we're gonna do is we save the changes here. We go to landscape, uh, we assign grass to this slot. So we're going to uh, turn on the grass here. And then as you can see, you have a bit of grass. Uh, if you turn it up, Obviously you can make it bigger, grass height, uh, grass wildness. I don't really like using this one because I find that the wildness is not as, uh, it's not as good as using like wild grass, like I, or the 3D wild grass. Cause I find it just makes it like, like I don't think it should like disappear like that, but um, yeah, this, this looks pretty good. And what they actually did fairly recently, uh, I think this was just Lumion 11. They actually improved um, how this grass looks in lighting. Uh, so th this grass does look way better than it did uh, even in Lumion um, 10.5, like I noticed that uh, pretty quickly because before I used to think that this grass was literally unusable, um, but now it actually looks pretty good. So um, if you have a big scene um, and you just need some decent performance, this is the grass that I would probably use. Um, right, so then the next one we're going to be looking at is just using 3D grass. So this one is pretty heavy on performance, so you can't, you, you know, you wouldn't want to fill this entire landscape um but you can just throw on something like this you know this is kind of old reliable uh, i think people kind of overuse this a little a uh, little more than they should but uh nonetheless it is a, a great tool to use um I, I typically use wild grass no matter what like i'll use one of these two and then i like to just kind of play with it from here like i think that it's always like a good starting point um i know that you can kind of get there for with all the other ones um but uh yeah i just like using the um, wild grass as the base so now here is kind of like level four. So this is where it starts to get a little interesting. So we've basically gone through everything that we can do inside of Lumion uh, normally. So we'll hop back and sketch up. And I'd actually made a video about this a while, uh, a while back. So if you want to watch the full thing, you can, um, because there's a couple cool tricks in there doing the same thing. So we're just going to take this down to here. Uh, I'm going to go in here and I'm just going to make this a random texture. Save this go back into Lumion. And then I'm actually not going to put grass on top. I'm going to put grass on the bottom. So this one can be soil. And then this one is going to be 3D grass. Um, and if you want to play around with that, uh, you can. If it uh, looks like it's kind of too close, you can just bring this down a bit like that. And you'll get this sort of effect. So I find that this looks better um, for most scenes because it just looks a little more like realistic, like um, it kind of layers it. Um, there are some other things that you can kind of do with this. Um, like, as I mentioned in that video, you can kind of make everything go into like an incline. Um, and then what that'll do 
uh, is that'll make it so that like if you have something like sand and grass, like if you have an incline going down below the grass, it'll slowly gra like um, kind of fade into it. So that, um, yeah, I dec definitely recommend checking out the tutorial. So we kind of got those ones out of the way and they are, uh, those are pretty cool, but I'm going to show you now the one that I've been playing around with lately. And I think this one is absolutely nuts. So um, I had some really good results with this lately um, and we will give it a try. So what you're going to do is you're going to install um, the SketchUp um, import for Blender. Uh, and also Blender if you don't have it. I'll leave links below if you're interested in trying it out. Um, but what we're going to do, though, is we're going to import the scene. So I'm going to go here. Oh, oops, that's not the wrong scene there. So I'll get rid of that. Uh, we'll do try that again. So import SketchUp scene, desktop, grass. So we're just going to get this like that. If we pop in here, you know, it's looking, you know, the apology is pretty good. Uh, I will just put on screencast keys, which I don't have actually. So um, luckily you don't need to know anything about Blender to do this. Um, we're just going to be looking quickly at the Grasswald add-on because this is something I'm going to get more into, but I just kind of wanted to show the results with this. So what you do is once you have Grasswald installed, uh, you can add in different uh, systems. So what we're going to do is we're going to do uh, create new settings. I'm going to go to optimization let's see go on material preview mode here just so we can see it a bit better so um let me find the oh i didn't put yeah so that's why that didn't work there right so this might look a little weird at first i just need to adjust it so let's try this one instead uh we'll do something like this I'll just set this like 85. Um, and I will make these a little bit smaller because they are kind of big. So maybe I'll make that 100 actually. Uh, and so you do get different variants here. So you can kind of put whatever you want in there. Um, I'm going to name this one. I'll just call this grass. Uh, the next one, uh, I'm going to put some leaves in. So you can just put like some ground clutter. Uh, we're going to turn that up to 100. Uh, we're going to turn the size down. Just tilt it out here. Um, and you can spend some extra time to just kind of make these get cut out um, so it's not over the side, but I think that's pretty good. Um, and then so I'll call this leaves. And then I'll go, I'll add this one in. So I'll do another one, uh, dandelion. And I'll go here. This might just take a second to load up. I uh, will make the density on this like 50. Make them smaller, something like that. So we'll call this uh, yellow dandelion. And then I'm also going to add in another dandelion, but this time when I do it, I'm going to put these ones in here. And then I'm just going to make the seed different. Um, all these at the end. What that basically means is like if the seed is all zero, they're all going to kind of spawn from the same place and we don't want that. Um, this is 50, something like that looks pretty good. I think, um, and I'm just going to make this like four the, for the seed three. Um, and what you can do is like, um, for just for this tutorial, I'm going to show it kind of like this, but there are some other things that you can kind of do to make it a little more optimized in Lumion. What I was playing around with, is just like importing one plane of grass. Um, and then you can kind of move that around, like tile it, spin it, whatever you have to do just to avoid randomness. And then you just do that for every single aspect of Graswell that you want to do. Um, and once we bring this into Lumion, uh, that'd be pretty cool. I don't know how long this is going to take for Lumion to actually load in. Um, sometimes it takes like 10 minutes or so, or maybe like five, just because there are a lot of uh, faces here. So what I'm going to do uh, is once I actually export it, I'll probably just edit this part out um, and it'll just save uh, a bit of time. Uh, but I think that this one's good to go. Right, so I will just kind of show you how this looks in uh, in rendered mode quickly. I'll throw a little HDRI in. Uh, actually, I'll just put the sky texture in. And if you don't know how to use this, like, it's no big deal. Um, but as you can see, just, uh, oops, let me, let me just put on optics here. 
We'll do uh, automatic. Um, right, so this is more or less like, it's kind of hard to see, but um, this is more or less what we're going for in Lumion. So let's see what we can do. Uh, I'm going to take this out of rendered mode. Let's go to material preview. Right, so we're going to export this now and see how this looks in Lumion. There is going to be some tweaking we have to do. Um, we'll call this just grass. Um, and we think everything's good here. And like I said, this might just take a moment uh, to actually bring in a Lumion, uh, but we will see. Um, this one, I'm just going to get rid of this for now. So I'll close this. Um, I'll delete this. Right, and now we're going to or import the uh, the one we just did. I think it's still loading, actually. No, oh, where did I save that? Um, oh, it must be. Yeah, it must be this one. Okay, so yeah, like I said, if this is like, I'll probably just see how long this takes. If it takes more than like a couple minutes, I'll just, uh, I'll probably just cut this part out. But I guess we will see because it does seem like it's going a little bit faster. Like normally it just says unresponsive. But yeah, we'll, uh, We'll have to see how that goes. So that wasn't too, too bad. Um, Grass 25. All right, so when we bring this in, obviously it's not looking as good as we want it to. This will just take a second to calculate. Uh, I'm just gonna bring this up. Right, so we look at this and you're like, okay, well this is kind of, uh, kind of a mess right now. Um, but we're gonna go through and we're gonna find um, all of the, uh, all of the um, textures here. So this is the dandelion. So then this would be weeds. Dandelion, um, I believe this would be it. So let's see if this works. And we just have to turn this down. So as you can see, it starts to come in looking better already, but we are gonna play with it even more. Um, and then for these ones, did these ones actually all come in with the same texture as well? Oh, okay, so perfect. Then the uh, all the dandelions uh, come in together. Hmm. Interesting. I didn't know that. Uh, we are going to do the grass next here. Um, I believe that one was, let me just double check the one that we used here. Um, okay, so the rye grass. Right here, just go color. And I will change this here so this is i actually selected the grass here or like the original plane so i'm going to make this one just dirt and then i'm going to grab this and this is the last one we need so it's just the leaves um debris let me just double check what one we used here so leaves cherry leaf cherry laurel yeah uh here we're all going to put the we're going to put the uh, normal maps on as well. Um, I don't know how important it actually is, but uh, you know we'll do it right. So turn these down and click on this, and then we will find that again. Unfortunately, normally it just pops right into where it was, but we can just do this quickly anyways, um, like that. And again, I don't know how much how important it actually is. Like it might be kind of overkill. But, um, you know, might as well just do it the right way. And then, like I said, we're going to go through and just adjust some stuff um, just to make sure that everything is uh, kind of working how we want. Uh, I'm going to do, like, put waxiness on if people don't know what that is. Um, it kind of makes it so, like, it's translucent, um, but it doesn't uh, make it transparent. So it's a really nice effect. Um, right. Now we have, uh, we're just gonna go through and double check everything here. So that's turned, glossiness will turn down. 
uh, waxiness. We're just going to turn it up slightly. Maybe like, yeah, something like that. For the grass, we do the same thing. Uh, the leaves, we do the same thing. As you can see, it slightly changes. What I find it does is it just removes all the gloss from something, uh, and it looks really good. So let's go into rendered mode here and see how this looks. So yeah, these, um, I think that these dandelions could come in a little bit better. Oh, well, then again, I guess that's, that's kind of how it looks right there. Um, yeah, I think these ones might, they probably look a lot better inside of, um, inside of Blender. Like I think this one is not, uh, like when you export it like this, it's not as optimized. Uh, as it would be in Blender, but I still think it's really good. Um, personally, I, I like this better than the 3D grass, and I'm definitely going to do some scenes with it um, because you can do things like, you know, put the ground clutter in. Um, you know, I probably went a little overboard with the dandelions, but I do think you get the point. Um, so personally, I think this is better than um, the 3D grass, as I said, because uh, grass weld really goes like very far into detail. Like you can, it gets like discoloration all through the... Um, all through the grass and you actually get dead grass at the bottom and you can go through and like do a bunch of other cool things like so you can add in like moss all these other kind of leaves like you know red clover you could toss that in there if you want and all you have once you like have this kind of set up if you want to change something out it's easy as just clicking it so if we said like you know maybe you're not crazy about the how much dandelions are i just click that uh then you go right here and you go like 20. um and so yeah then you can just kind of completely change up how that's going to look um and I, I really, really like doing this. I'm going to be releasing some um, exterior shots of just kind of like some cottages and things like that soon where I'm going to be using this system. Uh, as you can see, it, sometimes it takes a little bit long to kind of like uh, set up um, and import, but I do think that the results kind of speak for themselves. And um, it, what I love about this is that Blender has some great um, tools for placement on planes like this, like especially with mega scans, like you can bring everything in here and kind of make it... Uh, you know, kind of make it do all the work for you. And I am going to put a link to some videos I have below um, where I, I do a whole series about just using 3D grass. It is a little bit outdated because this wasn't in there at the time. It was uh, just something I didn't use at the time, but I really, really do enjoy it now. Um, but yeah, if you want to see that uh, series, I'll leave a link and um, you can check it out because there was some good information in it. Uh, the one that I think I liked the most uh, was the one at the very end. So um, yeah, hopefully people found that kind of interesting. I know that it was, uh, you know, it was mostly focusing on like this grass wall to add on, but I did just kind of show all of this, the, um, the levels of grass in Lumion that I am able to use. Um, one to three is just kind of like standard Lumion materials. Um, they all have their place, I think. Um, mostly it's just how much performance loss can you afford. So if you can afford to take, uh, take a hit with performance, whether you have, you know, a small scene or a good computer, um, then 3d grass is what you want to use. But if you just need to do something quick and dirty, 2d grass is probably the thing to do. Um, layering the 3d grass, like we said, um, in the fourth stage, um, that is kind of the more advanced version of the 3d grass, but it is all just Lumion material. Um, nonetheless, you just have to do a little bit of work in SketchUp. For most most of the time, that's what I like using because I just find it looks much more realistic to have some dirt showing, um, it, especially if you're doing something like a path or a forest or something. You can just kind of get this like, you know, this this like uh, transitioning effect, and I really like that. But Graswald is something I've been playing around with lately, and I do think that this is kind of like the the peak of Lumi on grass. Uh, and I am going to be releasing some pretty cool videos, um, kind of showing how. Um, cool this can actually be and how good um it can look up close so yeah hopefully you guys found this video interesting um if you did find it interesting i'd really appreciate it if you could hit that like button and also drop me a subscribe uh, to help me with the youtube algorithm uh if you are subscribed already i just want to say thank you very much for checking out the videos uh, i really appreciate your support and uh it motivates me to just keep making videos like that and hopefully i'll have a lot more coming out this week have a great night guys